Welcome to the PCFL Show. On this week's episode, we've got 2018 End of Season Awards and highlights of the two-tier championship doubleheader. PCFL Show is brought to you in part by FPS Design. Graphic and web design, sports marketing, and more. Go to fpsdesignstudios.com. Also by Hat Tricks Music and Media. Audio production, graphic design, social media management, and more. After a few exchanges of possessions with INTs for both teams, the Spartans start to move the ball as Brian Neals hits Eloy Portella. And running back Alvin Jelts picks up big yardage, putting the Spartans in scoring position. Capping the 10-play drive, Jelks punches it in for the touchdown. Max Amosquita's point after is good. The Spartans are up at the end of the first. In the second quarter, Brian Neals finds Eloy Portella again, this time inside the 10-yard line. And DeAndre Mann caps the drive with six. And Max Amosquita puts another point on the board. On the ensuing kickoff, DeAndre Churchill takes the kick for the Kings. He cuts back around and takes it all the way down to the nine yard line. And on the next play, quarterback AJ Chambers finds Kevin Maddox who makes a great move and takes it in for the touchdown. The Spartans answer back with a healthy dose of Alvin Jelks. Not only does he take him inside the 20, he takes him in the rest of the way for six for his second touchdown of the day. Another point after makes it 21-6 with 2.16 left in the half. With under two minutes left, Kevin Matos goes in at quarterback, giving him a different look running out of the option. Kevin Matos is able to avoid pressure. He looks downfield and is able to find Lloyd Johnson for the touchdown. Matos finds Joey Reyna for the two-point conversion, and it's 21-14 going into the half. A short kickoff gives the Spartans good field position to start the second half. And the Spartans get to work as Brian Neals hits Desmond Hatton. And three running plays in a row by DeAndre Mann pays off. Max Amosquita is proving to be Mr. Consistent with another PAT. The Kings answer back with this touchdown run by Kevin Matos. They go for two, but the conversion's no good. After a fumble recovery by the Kings, Kevin Matos finds DeAndre Churchill for the touchdown. But the Kings miss another opportunity to put points on the board as Marquise Brooks picks off the conversion attempt. In the fourth quarter, the Spartans extend their lead with this run by Alvin Jelks. And Mosquito's point after is good, giving him a nine-point lead. But on the ensuing kickoff, DeAndre Churchill takes it and heads up field. Hard to tell if it's a fumble or a lateral, but Markel Robinson ends up with the ball and ends up going the distance for the touchdown. AJ Ellis takes in the two-point conversion and it's a one-point game. But the Spartans answer back with a 10-play drive capped off by this DeAndre Mann touchdown. And Max Amosquita puts yet another point after through. Kevin Matos hands off to DeAndre Churchill who cuts up Cuts back the other way and pitches it back to Kevin Matos for the first down. DeAndre Churchill takes the snap, runs right, and breaks the plane to the end zone for the score. Churchill finds Matos for the two-point conversion, and this is the first PCFL championship of any sort to go to overtime. In overtime, Churchill finds Robert Walker for the touchdown, but the two points no good, and the Kings are up by six. On fourth and goal, Alvin Jelks takes the handoff and takes it in for his fourth touchdown of the game. And Mr. Consistent Max Amosquita puts the point after through. Final score, Salinas Valley Spartans 49, Elk Grove Kings 48. And the Salinas Valley Spartans are the 2018 Tier 2 champions. Congratulations.
Walker Cabling is a professional structured cabling contractor that specializes in data center, copper cabling, and fiber optics. They provide custom infrastructure installations in order to help your company meet its communication needs. Walker Cabling. Quality matters. In between the two games of the championship doubleheader, the end of year awards were given. For Tier 1, the MVP goes to Jamie Jensen of the Patriots, the Offensive Player of the Year goes to Jamie January of the Lions, and Defensive Player of the Year award goes to Doug Osby of the Sun Devils. The Tier 2 MVP is Kevin Matos of the Kings, the Tier 2 Offensive Player of the Year is Will Kilday of the Falcons, and the Tier 2 Defensive Player of the Year is Robert Beverly of the Kings. And the 2018 Iron Man of the Year Award, recognized for total football contribution, is Kenny Visor of the Stallions. Congratulations to all award winners for their outstanding performances of the year. From the smallest of buildings to the largest, the simplest to the most detailed and everything in between, Crandall Roofing is the company for your next roofing job. Schedule your free consultation today. Go to CrandallRoofing.com for more information. Crandall Roofing has you covered. The ninth PCFL Championship features the North Bay Rattlers against the South Bay Patriots. Which team will take home the Ed Cimension Memorial Trophy? The Patriots won the coin toss, elected to receive, and got things started with this run into Rattler territory by Vaughn Smith. A few plays later, Jamie Jensen drops back and finds Kenny Pope for a gain of about 20 yards. That sets up this field goal by Danny Betancourt, putting the Patriots on the board first. After the ensuing short line drive kickoff, Terrence Bell finds Jordan Ahmed, who takes it the distance and takes it in for the touchdown. And Connor Derby's point after is good, 7-3 Rattlers midway through the first. First play of the second quarter, Jamie Jensen's pass is picked off by Primey Davis. And three plays later, fourth and five, Terrence Bell takes off and takes it into the end zone for the score. Let's take another look at that. And Connor Derby's point after is good. After a penalty on a punt return pins them back, a high snap by the Rattlers is fumbled and recovered by Christian Pelusian for the touchdown. And the point after is good, bringing the Patriots within four. On the ensuing possession, the Rattler drive is halted as Dominic Barnes pulls in the pass and picks it off. He returns it all the way to the 40-yard line, giving the Patriots excellent field position. Jamie Jensen finds Kenny Pope, who makes a move and takes it down inside the five. And Matangi Tonga takes it in for the touchdown. And the point after puts the Patriots up by three. After an exchange of possessions, the Patriots move again as Jamie Jensen finds Kenny Pope on the right side and then hits Mackie McDuffie with a couple of passes to the left. And the drive is capped by this touchdown run by Hashim Houston. The Patriots are up by 10 at the half. Starting the second half, a line drive kick by Danny Betancourt bounces off Rattler and Akeem Figs recovers for the Patriots. Three plays later, fourth and two, the Patriots go for it, and Jamie Jensen hits Kenny Pope, who is not touched down, and takes it into the end zone for the touchdown. The Rattlers answer back by moving the ball. Here, Terrence Bell hits Tony Edmondson in the flat, moving them into Patriot territory. And Joe Ramos caps the drive with this touchdown run up the middle. And on the ensuing Rattler possession, Fourth and five, Terrence Bell finds Bobby Guillory for the touchdown. The point after is good, and it's Rattlers 28, Patriots 31 at the end of the third. In the fourth quarter, the Patriots went to work. Here, Jamie Jensen hits Ronnie Isles for about 25 yards. And on the next play, Jamie Jensen hits Blair Wortham for a gain of 29. Sherrod Parker takes the handoff and speeds to the outside, picking up about 21 yards. That sets up this Danny Betancourt field goal. The Patriot defense held the Rattlers to a three and out, and on their next possession, Jamie Jensen hits Ronnie Isles, who turns up field and takes it 49 yards. 
And on the next play, Hashim Houston takes the handoff and takes it in for the touchdown. Danny Bettencourt's point after is good, extending the Patriot lead. After a turnover on downs with a short field, Havlock Pamele breaks loose and into the end zone with 4.48 left in the game. Let's take another look at that from the end zone camp. Danny Bettencourt finished the game with two field goals and a perfect 7 for 7 of PATs. Any chance of last minute heroics were extinguished as Daniel Martinez comes down with the interception. And what is Mackie McDuffie up to? The Patriots take the victory formation to close out the game and your final score is South Bay Patriots 48, North Bay Rattlers 28. And Mackie McDuffie stole the trophy in celebration. And the South Bay Patriots are the 2018 PCFL champions. Congratulations. Well, that's it for an exciting 2018 PCFL season. If you or your team are interested in joining for 2019, go to thepcfl.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at the PCFL. If you're on Facebook, like our page and share the PCFL show links. And last but not least, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash PCFL Media. I'm your host, Angry Mike. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the PCFL owners that came out and made this possible. Thanks, Tom, for bringing out a great team. Thanks for everything.